<laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'm not I'm not even sure we're here. The point is, is Drew, can you see what I see? Have you planted a chip in me? Yeah. <laughs> Try to put a chip in his kids. So awesome. The point is, is you need to find a girlfriend. You get that girlfriend, you work it out. Like any job, you do it every day. It becomes very easy. I agree with one brief little interlude here. Can I talk to him for a second? Don't. Yes. Yes, you may. Uh, and Sean Adam is absolutely right. That it's probably anxiety. It's probably they need to work things out. But you do need to be checked out to make sure there's not a medical problem. Do you have a normal sex drive? Yeah, I would say so. Do you have normal body hair? Body what? Hair distribution on your body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal stature? Yep. No other medical problems? Nope. No medications? Um, I'm on Wellbutrin now, but it, it, it's been going yeah. on since before then, so... All right, well, but obviously somebody thinks there might be a psychiatric problem yeah. here. So that maybe that's what's causing this, this uh, disorder. So y right. how do you think I should go about uh, fixing it? I, I think maybe uh, who is a psychiatrist prescribing the Wellbutrin or a general doctor? It's Gardner. It's um, oh, the it's Gardner. a general doctor. Yeah, if, I think Wellbutrin to me would be it's an interesting choice. It would not affect your sexuality or your erectile function, but it will yeah, make your anxiety. But yeah, but it can make your anxiety worse. Mm -hmm. And if anxiety is your problem, that may not be such, such a great choice. And I would want to see an expert before I took something like that. A. B, uh, Adam gave you good advice about taking care of the problem and working it out once you get the psychiatric problem properly assessed. Yeah, yeah. Just get a girlfriend. Hmm? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you had a problem every time you've been with a girl? Not every time, but, I mean, it's usually with, like, it's usually with a girl, like, New I one. really want. Ah, I'm bored. <laughs> he, he's anxious. Yeah. Yes. He's got to work it out. Well, but look, I'm you, anxious, too. Yeah, you, you do, Not a but your, your passion takes, uh, takes a... a, 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 a Takes, uh, takes precedent. I, takes well, over. I want to say precedent, but it, it, it it's in the driver's seat. You it, know, speaking of that, I'm I'm going on Anderson Cooper tomorrow night, and we're going to go over my. Uh, no one knows who Anderson Cooper is. He's a CNN is. show, uh, like at seven o'clock or something, mm -hmm. and we're going to do my brain scans. Oh, you are. Yeah, they're doing a male female thing. I, I had a, a mm. functional MRI scan looking oh. at pornography. Where do you get that home MRI thing to pass your kids through? <laughs> I, mean, I don't need house, that. It's going to be great. It's How be dare like, you? It's going to be like an Israeli airport. I have it's, chips. You have screenings, lunch pail screenings. There's going to be pat downs before they come in and leave the house. Oh, it's going to be doing random SWAT. It's Everyone's just going to be normal for them. They're just going to get used to it. It's going to come in the front door and a little red lights. Sir, sir, step aside. Sir, step aside. Take the belt off. Dad, sir, please, <laughs> hands out. Please take your shoes off, sir. And then you can do that wipe down thing with the swab. You find uh, find some chalk and a little marijuana <laughs> residue on the kid. It's going to be right awesome. It right to the computer. You know, I was, I was at the airport the other day, and all, somebody they say yell something, and then they freeze. Have you been through this? <laughs> yeah, it's Where like on Wonderama. What happens on Wonderama? <laughs> they yell something, they freeze. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah remember Wonderama? Bill, uh, what was his name? Uh, Bob McAllister. Bob McAllister. Thank All right, go ahead. So they yell something and they freeze. Well, it was weird. They they they, they make you stand away from the machine. And they, they they start screaming, mm -hmm. and then they all. It's like some like a you know, pack of monkeys that start that, that howl goes through the the troop, mm -hmm. and then they make you back. Ba I've never been through that before. They, mm -hmm. There's some sort of breach. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen this? No, no. They they it's just stopped everything. Thing. Somebody somebody made it pass. I, I guess, and somebody goes, Hup! and they they all yell the same thing. Like, every, like you know, all of them, all of the airport, and everybody everybody stop. They make everyone stop. And you're really? in your spot. Yeah, I've never seen it like this. I I uh, and then they sort of yell all clear, and then right, go back. Seems to, to be different. Uh, which one of these interesting things that the uh, every airport seems to be a little bit different, which is a weird thing to monkey with. Yes. Uh, you know. McDonald's and Jack in the Box is have much more u uniformity than airport security yes. does, yes. which is one of these things because it's a federal thing. Like, why wouldn't they all be laid out almost exactly the same with the same equipment and the same protocol? Like, hey, at uh, at Logan, you got to take your shoes off, but at LAX, you don't have to take your shoes off. Like, really? You don't want to just decide on which yeah, one you LAX do? LAX recently has hired the angriest people. Oh, they yeah. really just become incredibly angry. Yeah, well, you'd be angry. hostile. It's like what? no. Well, they're 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 hostile because a they're well. F first off, security is you know it basically here's how it goes. It goes job core, <laughs> it goes military, and then it goes security. And this sort so you're of going up the food chain. Yeah, or down. I'm going up. I'm going up. Okay, but that's the sort of well well job core is criminals. Okay, it, you you go to job you get your choice between juvenile hall. And put, you know, digging uh, fire lines in the Angel uh, Angeles uh, Crest, Crest uh, Highway up there. That I mean, that's that. And then military's just, uh, eh, I don't want to go to junior college. I'd rather fire a gun. And then security is, is uh, well, 
I've been busted so many times. I think I know a lot about the security at this point. So, uh, you know, when you've been cuffed as many times as I have and had as many run-ins with the man. I mean, think about this, losers, in all facets of security. All facets. I mean, here's what it is. Security is like secret service. And then a and then a free fall, <laughs> just this just 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 just, just a two it's hour FBI, long. It's FBI. Yeah, okay. It's like yeah, it's, that's it's, not really it's, security. Yeah, though, okay. It? Let's just like Secret Service, and then there's the guy you run to backstage at the Weenie Roast who won't <laughs> let you on stage, even though you have to announce the next band, or you're in the band. <laughs> Here, here's what I do. I'm uh, I'm uh, actually. Uh, I'm uh, I'm two members of Kiss, and yeah. I have to announce and you're, it. And, yeah, and, and you're I have to bring up. them on stage. Could I get out? No, yeah. can't do it. So that's my point. You're de- you're dealing with the bottom of the barrel, and then and then it's L.A. So you not only have the bottom of the barrel, but you have the angry people who are all out here. It's not you know it's not Georgia. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have an angry city the envious, with the bottom bottom, here. bottom of the barrel. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's awesome. It's great. It's a great experience. And uh, you take your shoes off. The guy rips down the wand. I wish I, I wouldn't mind if they just. I got singled out and had to be uh, felt up out yeah, of line. Yeah, yeah. I don't. You know, they tell you what they're going to do. I'm going to reach around your groin now, sir. I'm going to reach around. <laughs> I'm going to use the back of my hand. They use the back of their hand, which is uh, in a weird. Weirder, yeah. yeah, it's like hey, that's my weirdo uncle used to do that to me when I was nine. He'd do the back rub thing. He wouldn't do the front of the hand. He didn't want to get any prints on my underwear. It was awesome, but. Yeah, the backhand creepier, and uh, just go ahead and feel up, buddy. I don't need yeah. the whole like. Here's what I'm going now, sir. I'm taking my, I'm taking, I'm taking my uh, inner knuckle. And I'm going to rub it against uh, your left sack. And now I'm going right sack. Now I'm going sphincter with uh, <laughs> ring, ring, pinky, pinky knuckle. Uh, all backhand, by the way. Backhand. That's nice. That's awesome. All right. Uh, let's uh, keep. Uh, well, should we take a break? You want to speak to? I don't know. Yeast infection. Come how on. About, uh, mm-hmm. How about two? Let's say two. Line two. Yeah. What's your take on uh, really medical one. marijuana? Oh, there's a bill in Congress. Zachary. Yeah. Hey, Adam. Hey, Drew. Yeah. Hey. Two. L- What's happening? L- uh, not much. Just driving on the freeway. LT. Uh, LTL. Uh, FTC. I'm calling to get Drew's take on uh, medicinal marijuana going to uh, the Senate for. Uh, vote this summer and see what uh well adam's take is two on it i'm uh, currently a patient of medical marijuana so it's okay you are exactly a couple things hold on what are you doing with medical hold marijuana? on i'll tell you what he's doing in a second let me tell you you don't okay. know no no I, 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 hold on hold on he knows what's up okay i am generally in favor of these bills uh okay. i think i think our our the lack of a rational approach to this drug is creating serious problems. Mm-hmm. And we need to get much more rational, particularly as it pertains to research and medical use. We give opiates to opiate addicts if it helps them decrease suffering. Why can't we give marijuana to marijuana addicts if it helps them at the end of life? I'll tell you I'm, why, Drew. Slippery slope, my friend. I know, slippery slope. Slippery slope. Slippery and, slope. and Zachary, what slippery I will tell slope. you is uh, I've never received a request for medical marijuana from other than a marijuana addict. Right. Non-addicts are not interested in medical marijuana. And when I, by the way, when I offer Marinol to the addicts that ask for medical marijuana, not interested because it doesn't make you high the way the regular marijuana does. You're mm-hmm. interested in being on marijuana, and if that helps you with your medical problems and you're not interested in getting off, fine. What but, medical problem do you have? Uh, chronic backache. Yes. <laughs> chronic backache would my, magically go oh. away if you rub it. But, but be that as it may. Wow, Tom. It, it tickled it by it. I know it does. It's, an, it's an opioid effect for some people. Kitty about this. But, but chronic some of the pain. marijuana, the CB1 and CB2 receptor a- antagonists, blocking agents, these marijuana receptor blockers, are going to be some of the most important medications going forward that we're going to see in the next five to ten years. Mm. So I'm a huge advocate of, of uh, liberalizing the research Slippery of marijuana. Slippery slope, uh, Drew. Slippery slope. Let me tell you what happens. You you legalize this uh, contraband, this uh, narcotic for uh, for consumption for people with so-called injuries or conditions. Next thing you know, you got jackbooted thugs kicking in your front door, uh, taking your infant, uh, opening his mouth, massaging.